the people of Egypt never knew that he used called Joseph as the one that will work wonders and the whole nation will be delivered. And the people of Israel didn't know that a child God called Jeremiah was the one that will come and show them the revelation of God and the revelation to be where they ought to be. And neither did the people know that somebody called John the Baptist, a youth, a young adult, is the one that will come and reveal the coming Messiah unto them. And people did not know that Mary, the virgin, still in the bracket of the young adults was the one that will bring Jesus the Savior to the world and neither do people around you know that you are the man you are the woman that will do wonders in this land in this continent in our world today in Jesus name at whatever age you are the Lord through you say amen the Lord, through your pronouncement, through your utterance, through your vision, through your auditory organs, and through hearing, and through everything the Lord has given you, it is through you the Lord will accomplish his wonders. What are you? We're waiting for you. I said, we're waiting for you. They all came together and they wanted to raise up the king. And as they got together, all the officers were there. And the person to be made king, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's hiding somewhere. He said, No, I cannot. No, I will not. Me to lead a whole nation? No, I cannot. And Samuel says, Search for him. Search for him. We're searching for you. The Lord is searching for you. The nation is searching for you. And they saw him tall, lanky. And he was above all others from shoulder up. They said, they're calling you. I didn't want to do that. That's why I was hiding. And they brought him out of the hiding. And Samuel Samuel said, this is the man. And I come to declare to you this morning, that's the lady there. That's the man there. The Lord has got you. The Lord has got you. And the Lord said in John chapter 14 verse 12, it says, John chapter 14 verse 12, is telling us when he finds you, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, he that believeth on me, she that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he also do. What does that mean? It says, you are my representative. I have to go back to heaven so that I can prepare a place for the millions, myriads of people who are going to come into the kingdom. But I leave you there now. In this generation, you are standing in for me there. In that community, you are standing in for me there. In that territory, you are standing for me there. And what I would have done if I were there, I place you there, you will do it. I said you will do it. He that believeth on me, the works I do shall he do, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. Jesus, that one I don't understand. Greater works than this shall he do because I go to my father. What he was saying is this, between the time of my departure and the time of my coming back again, many inventions will come. Aeroplane will come. There was no aeroplane when I was there because it wasn't time yet. Aeroplane will come. I will raise some of you to become uh, pilots and engineers that will deal with that. Something I never dealt with, you will deal with them in Jesus' name. 
before I come, internet will come, computer will come. And the things I didn't have any kind of chance to do because those things have not come. But I don't worry because I leave you behind and you will be a computer engineer and you will be a pilot flying all those jets and they even have the concord now and you'll be going up and up and up in jesus name and marine engineers and all the things that you know that were not here when jesus was here he said you are the man on the spot right now you are the woman on the spot right now and so don't say i cannot because if jesus were here there is nothing he will say i cannot do now you are here christ in you will do everything and through the young people of today anywhere in the government anywhere in every profession everywhere in the colleges anywhere in the schools in education the lord is raising you up i will i said i will and you will do what i have not done you know, sometimes when I say that, the young people say, Pastor, you are trying to just, you know, put us on a horse. I'm not. I cannot fly an aeroplane. Some of you will. At this age now, I'm not going to be a governor in any state, president of our country. Some of you will. At this age now, I cannot, you know, go back to school and be lecturers and be professors. I'm already a professor of the Bible, so I don't see any other profession. And some of you will become professors in Jesus' name. You will do. I will do what my daddy, biggest daddy or highest daddy, what he has not done, I will. I will. I will, and it's my joy to see that now achievers are everywhere. Any achiever there? Any achiever there?